For example, in April 2022, a soldier from the 95th Separate Air Assault Brigade managed to destroy the newest Russian K-52 attack helicopter using the Ukrainian anti-tank missile system, Stugna, which was initially developed to combat tanks and armored vehicles. However, thanks to its laser guidance system, they were able to target the flying tank and effectively destroy it. Perhaps the most unique video was recorded on August 6, 2024. The security service of Ukraine managed to achieve a truly unique strike on an enemy target. For the first time in the history of the war, Ukrainians shot down a Russian Mi-28 helicopter in mid-air using an FPV drone. After this, similar methods were employed repeatedly. Destroying a target worth tens of millions of dollars with a drone costing $1,000 is truly the art of war. In this video, we can see how the pilot was lucky to catapult himself at the last moment, just before his airplane was about to end its flight forever. Pilots always fly in pairs, because this tactic increases the chances of successfully completing the mission and the survival of the pilots. This principle of combat has been established since World War II and remains relevant to this day. However, this time it did not help them. A targeted shot from a Ukrainian soldier using a man pads caught one of the pilots by surprise. The plane ignited instantly. On the video from the reconnaissance drone, we can see that the pilot tried to keep the fighter in the air for a while, but when the wind's force turned him sideways, the pilot had to eject at the very last moment. From the first hours of the Russian Federation's invasion of Ukraine, the combat helicopters of the occupying army caused numerous problems for both the civilian population and the military. There are many recordings where Russians directly attacked residential buildings and destroyed the infrastructure of entire cities. It is not the size of the boat that matters, but the skill of the sailor. This small flash in the sky is the result of a perfect hit by an FIM-92 Stinger. At first, it seems like the helicopter continues its flight as if nothing happened. But within a few seconds, we see the real consequences. The crew's chance of survival in such a crash is close to zero. Operations to shoot down aerial targets are often coordinated with reconnaissance drones. Thanks to these birds, we can witness such impressive footage. In another video, the drone operator managed to capture a similar hit, only from a closer distance. The pilot continued to control the aircraft for over a minute, possibly hoping to make a landing. But life isn't like a movie. Piloting a burning helicopter in real life is far from as easy as in Call of Duty. The Mil Mi-24 helicopter, or as the Russians call it, the Crocodile, at first glance seemed to explode in mid-air for no apparent reason. However, if we slow the video down by 10 times, we can spot a fast-moving projectile that hit the target precisely. We can't know for sure, but it's likely that the pilot died from the powerful explosion before his aircraft even touched the ground. The cost of a single Mi-24 helicopter is over $10 million. However, the Russian army also has more expensive equipment. The K-52 costs around $16 million. At the beginning of 2022, Russia had between 120 to 160 units of this equipment. According to intelligence, their current number is less than 30. Thanks to videos like these, we understand where more than a hundred of these wings have disappeared. It's hard to say exactly which weapon was used in the attack, but that doesn't make the video any less impressive. The Russian combat helicopter explodes in a ball of flames before plummeting to the ground after being struck by a deadly projectile. Even in slow motion, the speed at which the rocket hit the target is astounding. and although one helicopter managed to leave the battlefield, the other was left to rest forever in the Ukrainian fields. Even after being destroyed, enemy equipment causes significant harm to the soil and the environment. But it's better for it to be destroyed in the field than to continue killing people. After a crash, the helicopter's ammunition often detonates for some time. It's quite a spectacle, especially when it's the enemy's army. 
Many aerial targets are shot down by Ukrainian soldiers using various portable anti-aircraft missile systems. The Ukrainian army is equipped with the IGLA-1M, a modification of the Soviet IGLA-1. The warhead of such a system contains less than a pound of explosives, so its charge is not always enough to completely destroy the target. However, it is almost always enough to cause significant damage. Like in this case, after being hit, the Russian attack helicopter continued flying for a few more minutes, trying to escape from its opponents. But in the end, it met the same fate as like most of his colleagues. This event can be observed not only from the drone's camera, but also from the perspective of the National Guard soldier who launched the missile. It was a masterful strike on a target that was so far away. It's not always possible to say with 100% certainty what target was hit in every video. The farther you are from it, the safer it is especially when infantry holds positions and fends off aviation by any means possible. For this reason, many videos showing the destruction of rotorcraft are filmed from a great distance. And identifying the type of destroyed equipment can only be done after inspecting the wreckage at the crash site. Sometimes, intact parts can be salvaged from the wreckage of a helicopter to be used later in the repair of our own copters. In other cases, it's even hard to identify the type of aircraft that was hit, as the crash site often resembles a pile of twisted metal. It's difficult to imagine the force of the explosion and the temperature of the fire when you see it. The K-52 tries to maneuver and actively uses flares to avoid destruction. But while the reconnaissance drone operator was filming the hunt for the first Russian helicopter, he almost missed the effective destruction of its partner. One target out of two, a very good result. Perhaps the other one also doesn't have much longer to fly. This video is quite rare because it shows us the moment a Russian helicopter is shot down through the eyes of the pilot himself. While performing a combat mission, he was trying to destroy Ukrainian air defense systems. However, during the maneuvers, he was hit. The damage was not critical and the chopper was still controllable. However, in the rearview mirror, we can see smoke and fire. After that, he made an emergency landing and even survived. As for the helicopter, it most likely became a trophy for the Ukrainian armed forces. At the beginning of the war, Ukraine had a very limited air defense arsenal. During the assault on the Kyiv Reservoir, Ukrainian soldiers even attempted to shoot down helicopters with small arms. It's hard to say if they succeeded. During active military operations, it's very difficult to verify such information. However, eyewitnesses claim that one helicopter was hit this way. At least two enemy aircraft were destroyed during this mission using various types of weaponry. For example, now you can see footage of a Mi-8 being hit by a Soviet-era Igla Man portable air defense system, effectively turning this flying bird into an underwater one. When pieces of a helicopter scatter after a precise hit, it's natural. But we have a video filmed by the Russians themselves, where, for some unknown reason, parts and an external fuel tank simply fall off their newest K-52. Perhaps this machine's conscience woke up, and it decided to self-destruct. We'll probably never know the true reason, but we'd certainly like to see more cases like this. In not all videos can we see the moment of impact, but we can at least observe the aftermath of the battle. Two Russian helicopters circle over the crash site of a third. A combat helicopter tries to cover the evacuation rotorcraft so it can land and retrieve the surviving pilots. Pilots of any aircraft are highly valuable personnel, as their training takes many years. But when the rescuers manage to land, it becomes clear that there's no one left to save.
This video was filmed relatively recently in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation during the offensive by the Ukrainian armed forces. The K-52 was hit on August 10th in the zone of the liberation operation by a Mancats Stinger. Here, the pilots of a Russian reconnaissance and attack helicopter K-52 captured the moment when another similar helicopter of the invaders was shot down by a Ukrainian Manpads missile. The aftermath of this shootdown has already been shown to us by ordinary Russians who came to see the crash site. And now, take a look at another unusual situation in the Kursk region. Ukrainian drone operators destroy heavy equipment right in the middle of the road. Look, the vehicle has almost completely blocked the path and continues to detonate. Shortly after, the movement of an armored vehicle is detected. The crew realizes that a Ukrainian kamikaze drone is hunting them. They quickly begin reversing and stop between a pile of charred metal that was once a vehicle and an APC which had nearly flipped over and gotten stuck on the roadside. Look, you can clearly see how four Russian soldiers quickly abandon the vehicle and flee from the open area to the greenery near the road. The kamikaze drone strikes the abandoned armored vehicle, igniting a fire. Furthermore, something unexpected occurs. The flames begin to spread to the APC that is sitting on the roadside. The explosion caused by the detonation of shells that were likely inside the APC also destroys it. The Russians can be said to have helped the Ukrainian drone kill two birds with one stone. It's almost 6 in the morning, and this car, filled with Russian assault troops, is moving across an open field, navigating through craters left by artillery shells. They are heading toward Ukrainian positions located here and are also setting up defenses in the partially intact structures. But look at the field. They're undeterred by the fact that it's most likely mined and under the fire control of artillery, which is now beginning to target them. The shells explode nearby but miss their target. The vehicle was almost at its destination when an anti-tank mine suddenly shattered all of the Russians' plans. Look, just a moment before the explosion, you can see that there were less than 100 meters left to the Ukrainian trenches. Ten minutes later, another car was spotted attempting to pass nearby via a different route, but heading toward the same target. The drone operator closely monitors it. Inside the vehicle are six stormtroopers. Note that the car is missing its doors, as they deliberately removed them to exit the vehicle quickly in case of danger. To test their ability to react swiftly to threats, a kamikaze drone is deployed. The first APC is blown up by an anti-tank mine. Another APC almost reached its target, driving up close to the Ukrainian trenches. However, it too was met with a hidden mine. The explosion triggers an immediate detonation that utterly destroys the vehicle. From the other flank, a tank with a mine plow breaks through the tree line, charred from shelling. These three vehicles have fared worse. However, after hitting a few mines, the plow of the tank can't take it anymore. And on the next mine, the tank itself is blown to pieces. The advance continues, but it is completely thwarted by preset mines. Just look at the trouble this tank has gotten itself into. The remaining group started retreating, with the infantry scattering into the nearby greenery. One of the retreating tanks had the worst luck. Just look at the dense minefield it encountered. There were as many as five explosions. Ukrainian forces are not only repelling Russian assaults involving various amounts of equipment. An important task is the destruction of logistics and different types of weaponry being used behind the front lines. The Russians brought a truck loaded with shells, intended for the nearby 2S7 self-propelled artillery system. However, HIMARS disrupted their logistical efforts. The cluster munition explodes, and in just a moment, 
powerful explosion. As a result, the ammunition truck was literally vaporized, and the artillery system sustained significant damage, making it unlikely to perform its functions in the near future. A drone is observing the relocation of a BM-27 Uragan. The vehicle covers a considerable distance and eventually halts in a dense grove of trees. Perhaps the camouflage would have worked in a different scenario, but not this time. The same fate befell a radar station that the Russians had positioned near the ruins of a destroyed building. This radar system usually operates in tandem with the SA-10 Grumble surface-to-air missile system. It's a costly and rare target, and a drone is already on its way to destroy it. Negligence and camouflage has played a cruel trick on the equipment. Nearby, several 122mm M1963 howitzers were spotted. The first one was destroyed. The second is located near industrial buildings. A precise strike and the target is hit. Not only stationary targets are being destroyed, such as this SA-11 Gadfly surface-to-air missile system. Another drone continued to carry out its mission. Soon after, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the Russians finally located and dispatched an IFV. However, this was no longer a surprise, and the Ukrainian forces deployed a drone that struck the vehicle. Almost immediately, the IFV came to a halt, and the Russian soldiers abandoned it, fleeing in different directions. Meanwhile, another drone was launched to finish off the IFV. In their panic, the Russians, as usual, left the vehicle's doors open, which allowed for a more efficient use of drones to destroy the machine. The third attempt ended in complete failure, as even the lightly armored vehicle, with various modifications against drones, was ineffective. The abandoned IFV was left to burn. Perhaps the secret to success lies in the quantity of equipment? Let's find out by examining the next situation. The assault involving more than five vehicles began under the cover of smoke screens. Russian equipment, under artillery fire, tries to advance toward the Ukrainian stronghold. In addition to the artillery fire, drones join the resistance. One of them heads for a frontal collision with a turtle tank, whose armor is further reinforced with metal shields, and a mine-clearing plow is mounted at the front. That didn't save it from being destroyed. Look at this hit and the explosion from another drone that was adjusting the artillery fire. Notice how high the turret flew. The column began to stretch out and scatter in different directions. The destroyed equipment stands motionless. A kamikaze drone catches up to another IFV. Look from another angle. Direct hit, a fire breaks out, forcing the vehicle to stop. This vehicle had surged ahead and managed to advance further, but artillery was targeting it. A major mistake was the decision to start turning around. The trees on both sides prevented a quick maneuver, leaving it stuck in place. This gave the artillery time to take aim and destroy the armored vehicle. The other members of the group veered off the field and began wandering through the streets of a destroyed village but the buildings didn't give them any advantage against the drones. The rest were stopped by kamikaze drones near the railway and on the outskirts. 